Hey guys, it's Jaden from the Loom Lab and I'm making my Friday video and publishing it today. Um, um, and I'm showing you today how to make the inverted fishtail bracelet. Um, I'm going to be doing it on my monster tail that I got um, just a couple of uh, days ago. And um, you, can, but you can do it on a rainbow loom just using the two pins that I'm going to show you. You can do it on... Um, oops, sorry about that. You can do it on... Uh, plastic forks with the two middle prongs broken out, you can do it on pencils, you can do it on hooks, you can basically do it on anything that has two pins or pegs or anything like that. I'm just going to open my monster tail up. I'm going to take that instruction manual up. And I'm going to take my hook out. And I've got monster tail there. There's my bands in there. Ooh. I'm going to be using for today's tutorial, multicolored. There will be some kind of pattern to it, but I'm just going to be like using a lot of colours. Um, yeah. So, the things you're going to need for this bracelet are a monster tail, a rainbow loom, or whatever contraption you're using. Or you can even use a mini loom like that. Oh, sorry about that. You can. You need a hook like that. You can use a metal tipped hook. Or just a regular hook, whatever you want. You're going to need bands in there and clips in there. So let's get started. Take your first band and lay it on the two pins that you've chosen. So I'm going to take these two pins here. Actually, it's going to make it a bit harder. I'm going to use these two pins here. And you're going to make a figure of eight like that. So it's kind of crossed over in the middle. Like that. Then going to get your next colour. Place it on top of the two pins without any twisting. And push it down. And grab your next colour and place it on top. Without any twisting. You're then just going to hook over the bottom like you would on a regular hexafish, uh, hexafish on a regular fish tail. And take that over the top. Take that over the top like that. And then I'm going to grab my next colour, so I'm going to use pink and place it over the two pins. And now what you're going to do is take the middle band on this peg take it to the bottom, hold it with your finger, I think it makes it a bit easier, you don't have to, but I think it makes it easier, and now I'll take the one that's in the middle, over the top, you can let go then, do the exactly the same on this side, grab the one that's in the middle, take it to the bottom, grab the one that's now in the middle, and take it over the top, like that, grab your next colour, Place it over the top on both pegs. Take the middle band. Oh, take the middle band, take it to the bottom, hold it. Grab the one that's now in the middle and take it over the top. Take the middle one to the bottom. Take the bottom uh, middle one now to the top. Get your next colour. So my first colour was purple over both pins and now take the middle band to the bottom the, oh, the middle band the middle one to the bottom now the one that's in the middle to the top middle bottom middle top next colour was yellow over both pegs, then middle, bottom, middle, top, middle, bottom, middle, top. And you're going to do that all the way until it fits your bracelet. Oh it fits your wrist it's going to come out the bottom there um i'm gonna show you a couple more times before fast forwarding 
I'm not going to make a full bracelet. I'm just going to make a um, ring, an inverted fishtail ring. So take middle, middle, bottom, middle, top. I find it quite easy to grab my hook and then just hold it like that at the bottom. Then just twist my hook around grab the purple and take it over the top. That means you don't have to do any of that kind of holding. You just can stay quite smooth and just continue. And yellow, blue. Oh no, I added blue. Blue, pink. Over both. That's actually magenta, but whatever. Middle down, middle up, middle down, middle up. I'll show you once more before I fast forward. Green, pink, green. Then middle down, like that, and then middle up, middle down, up, middle down, middle up. Now I'm going to fast forward until I've got enough for a ring and you just carry on until you've got enough size for a bracelet if you're making a bracelet. So I've done enough for a ring now and I'm going to show you how to finish this bracelet. So you're going to take the bottom band over the top without laying your last band. You're just going to take it over the top and over on this side like that. And now you'll be left with just one band left on each of the pegs. Now you can take any one to, any, to whichever you want. So I'm just going to take this side onto this side there like that and now you're going to grab your clip you're going to take it up and grab it in that there then you can take it off the monster tail or the loom whatever you're using and on this side there'll be kind of that you're just going to tug on that put your fingers through it grab the clip from the other side and take it on and that is your finished inverted fishtail rainbow loom bracelet or ring in my case and that's what it's going to look like that's what it's going to look like I think inverted fishtails are really nice just as nice as the regular fishtail bracelet um, and that is basically how you do it. Please like, comment and subscribe on this video and my channel. And um, I'm here actually to announce, not not today, but I will be doing a video on when it is. But I'm going to be give it, doing a giveaway. Um, the giveaway is going to be for a monster tail loom as well as lots of loom bands. So we're talking over a thousand loom bands um that's what the giveaway is going to be and i'm going to give full details in my video and the and i think it will be sometime around september the 15th or the 16th but at least in a week or two so that's when it's going to be um and i think one of the rules you're definitely going to have to do is be a subscriber so if you want to do that now just be early um, then you can do that. So, see you later.